All right, I would like to introduce you to the Master Game Edition booklet. Now, as we open it, the very first page has the position designator codes for the Pro Set offense, which you're quite familiar with now, and either the 4 3 or 3 4 base defense. And then it covers the offensive index table that you've already learned for the basic game, i.e. if a team is eight index points or higher they're in A. If they're within the plus seven to negative seven window they're in B. And if they are negative eight points or lower they're in C index. You also have the symbols and abbreviations for the boards and the booklets all through here. And then, of course, you have the table of contents that lists all the items that are in the Master Game Edition book. Now, the very first table I, I want to talk, show you is first you have the place kicking, all right, to where you have kickoffs, onside kicks, safety kicks, and of course your extra points, and then all your field goal attempts. But as we look at this, let's look at the um, field goal from the 10 to 19 yard range. All right, and if you look at it, you'll notice that there's two sub columns underneath, and it's 1, 4, 2, 3. Those uh, indicate quarters. So if you're in the first quarter, and you reached your opponent's 12-yard line and the drive stalled and you're forced to kick a field goal, you would use the column 1 through 4 to find your play result of 1 through 42. You have 42 play results listed here. Okay. And if you were in the second or third quarter, you would use this column. You remember in the basic game, you only had one result. And basically what that was was the uh, mean average of the two columns of the master game. All right, let's look at our punting thing. Same thing. You have the same three field positions, i.e. from the offensive four, goal line to the offensive 14, from the 15 to the 49, and then from the 50 to the defensive 25. That's the same as the basic game. However, you have the sub columns 1 comma 4 for first and fourth quarters and 2 comma 3 for second and third quarters now with the master game you have two new plays that you do not have with the basic game the first one is the draw play now the draw play remember I taught you the four quadrants of APA football. All right? It's from your own goal line to your 14, where the bulk of the play is from your offense's 15-yard line to the defensive 31-yard line, from the defensive 30 to the defensive 10-yard line, and then from the 9 to the goal line. Now, as you look at it, this looks like the basic game. It does not have the sub columns for the first and third, you know, the, the quarters. It just, it's for, it doesn't have the first and fourth and second and third. It's just one play result. But you do not have the draw play in the basic game. Now, as I turn to play page, we see inside run. Now, this is the big difference between the master and the basic game. In the basic game, all the plays are associated with the four quadrants on the field and all the prints in black and white. With the master game, it's broken down by play types and all the play types are color-coded. Uh, color and you have the four field position quadrants, i.e. again, goal line to 14. So let's say, for example, it's the first quarter, you're in B offensive index, 
defense is in S alignment and you're at your the offensive 28-yard line and you call an inside run play. Well, you're going to first come to find where you are in the field, which is right here. We said that we're in B index against the standard alignment and we're in the first quarter. So you're going to read your result from this column down. Alright, turn the page, color-coded, outside run. It has all four quadrants, all four field position quadrants with sub-columns for the quarters. And this is kind of nice because it indicates like uh, if, a, if a runner is getting tired in the fourth quarter, the gain might not be as much as it is in the third quarter. So it adds a little bit of realism. Alright, turn the page. Short pass. You notice how it's color coded. It's broken down by all four quadrants. And it has the sub columns for the quarters. Alright. Let's go to medium pass. Medium pass has three associated boards from your own goal line to the 14 yard line, from the defense of 15, um, excuse me, from the offense of 15 to the defense of 31, and then from the defense of 30 to the defense of 15. Now, here on the medium pass boards, you have the second play. Uh, that you do not have with the basic game. You have the screen pass and you have two screen pass boards from the offense of 15 to the offense of 49 and you notice that there's no sub columns for quarters. It's just like the basic game. You have one result and it's not going to change uh, during the course of the game. Alright, you have the long pass you have three boards associated with that, all broken down by field position. You have your interception uh, return board. You have your pass offensive to determine, uh, you know, okay, if it's an A rate, if you're an A index and it's an A rated receiver, the end result's A. It's all the things that I taught you for the basic game. Now, this locator columns this is purely unique this is pure master game this is a math based system to let you select an intended receiver the defender that had the interception or the defender that had a sack if you remember from the basic game if you had a sack you knew it was a sack but you never knew who the defender was well this allows you, and it's all math-based off of the actual statistics, uh, and I'll show you in a lesson how to use this. But This is pure, a pure feature of the master game. Alright, this is identifier columns, um, just like the basic game with the one big difference is it goes up to uh, Fumble 76. This is a pure feature of the master game. These are rare plays, the wild and wacky plays that could happen. Like for example, RP stands for rare play, one is column one, and then you have your uh, rows. Okay, so if you had a play result of RP13, that would be rare play, column one, row three, and you're, you just read the result like quarter, quarterback mishandles snap, ball pops loose, after a mad scramble, he recovers it for a 33 yard loss. I mean, this adds the wacky, but things that you see that happen on an NFL Sunday are captured here. And like for example, RP1, RP2, and RP3 are for run plays. All right, you have a total of 20 different uh, rare plays, and they cover all aspects of the game. Like 
RP4, 5, 6 is for the passing, uh, and it goes on and on for kicking games and returns, and there's two pages of rare plays. And it's all the wild and wacky things that could happen. All right, and, or, or, or simple things. Could be a penalty or uh, like here, defensive offsides, offense as an eligible player downfield, offsetting penalties, replay down. Okay. Uh, but just to give you an idea of rare plays, you know, this is a punt, uh, punt return. Return a must punt, ball rolls 19 yards behind him. Uh, D8 recovers while running toward on goal line and loses six more yards. Touchback if this puts the ball in the end zone. I mean, it adds a lot of fun to the game. Okay, here's your injury table. And the injury table's different than the uh, basic game. You have uh, more features associated uh, with the injury table than you do in the regular basic game that I've already taught you. All right, this is the penalties, and this is the same as the basic game. Okay, it's basically the same layout. It has the penalty table and all the definitions and footnotes. And the last thing is the Offensive Index Finder System. This is purely unique to the Master Game. This gives you an option to where right now, you look here, if your offense was uh, two index points better than the defense, and you go here to plus two, you'd roll the die, and let's say you rolled a 16 and then you would go to here and it says for that play you would be in A index. It gives you a wonderful alternative to just the basic game engine rules of you know being within the plus seven minus seven window for B. And why I like it is because if you have a team that is plus seven and let's say for argument's sake the Philadelphia Eagles are playing the Dallas Cowboys and they have a plus seven offensive um, advantage over the Cowboys. Well, they'll be in B index if you go by the regular rules. And let's say the New York Giants are playing the Dallas Cowboys and they are negative seven. Well, they're also going to be in B. Where with this, this would ensure that the team that had the more points would have a more favorable favorable offensive index uh, and it's it's a good way to separate the two in addition it really makes each team point matter it also if you have an injury injuries are felt a lot more on this than they are on the traditional you know as long as you're within you know, not greater than eight or less, you know, or less than you know, eight points uh, being A or C. Uh, with this, you really feel injuries. And then with all the things they give you, the last thing you get is, of course, the rule book. And this explains all the options in, in section two of it. And they give you the individual play cards. And this is everything you get with the Master Game Edition. You don't get the field, you don't get the shakers, or nothing like that. You just get this booklet.